Hi there, Daniel here at Knight Rider Technical Lighting. Today, we're going to talk about Nightlink wireless technology. Nightlink is the next evolution in digital electronics for our company. It was designed to keep your hands where you need them most, on your handlebar. We are always keeping in mind optimal visibility. Hashtag optimal vis. Today, we're going to teach you how to pair, use, and factory reset your Nightlink lighting system. Nightlink is compatible with the Luminamax 2500, the Luminamax 2000, Luminamax 1500, the Lumina Pro 1300, the Omega 330 Evo, and the Nightlink wireless remote control. Today, we have a Lumina Pro 1300, two Omega 330 Evos, and one Nightlink wireless remote control. Let's get right into it. Let's start out by putting the headlight into pairing mode. It's actually really easy to do. You simply press and hold the two buttons, the plus and minus button, on the headlight. Once you see the eight-step fuel gauge scrolling, the headlight is now in pairing mode. You have 120 seconds, two minutes, to pair an optional Nightlink accessory. Let's start off by pairing an Omega 330 Evo taillight. You press and hold the taillight for approximately four seconds until you see the eight-step fuel gauge flash. Once you've seen the flash, that is an indication that the lights are paired. The Omega 330 EVO will recall the last mode it was in. So whether you were using max flash, fast flash, disco flash, pulse flash, high steady, or low steady, when you turn it on, the taillight will go into that mode. Let me show you how. Simply press a button on it. Turning the headlight on will turn the taillight on. Pressing the button to turn off the headlight or turn off the taillight. Let's pair an additional Omega 330 EVO. We're gonna press and hold the plus and minus buttons on the headlight. That will put the headlight into pairing mode. Again, you will see the eight step fuel gauge scroll. We're gonna take another Omega 330 EVO. And remember, it will also remember the last mode it was in. So you can synchronize the modes by pressing the power button once they're on to put them in the same mode if you'd like. But let's pair it first. We're gonna press and hold that button until we see that eight step fuel gauge blink. Now we know the items are paired. Turning on the headlight, we'll now turn on both taillights. Press and hold to turn off the headlight. We'll now turn off both taillights. Last item to pair here is gonna be our wireless remote control. Let's pair them. Press and hold until you see that eight step fuel gauge scroll. Remember, 120 seconds, two minutes to pair that optional accessory. We're gonna take the wireless remote control. There's a power button on it you're gonna press and hold it for about one second. And you will see that eight step fuel gauge blink. We have now paired all the accessories. If you press the power button on the wireless remote, it will now turn on the complete lighting system. If you press the power button again, it will turn the lighting system off. Let's walk through the options we have on the wireless remote control. The wireless remote control has a left and right indicator button. 
so you could have left and right blinkers. It has a power button, like we discussed, and it has a toggle switch. You press and hold the button to turn the lighting system on. Once it's on, you could press the left blinker to cause the Omega 330 that is on the left side to blink. You could press the right blinker and it would cancel out the left blinker and turn on the right side. You could also press and hold the same indicator again and it would cancel out that turn signal. Conversely, if you do not press anything and you forget, after about two minutes, that turn signal will time out. To access flash modes once your headlight is on, simply tap the power button. The headlight will go into flash modes. To get it back into a regular lighting mode, tap it again. To turn off the Nightlink lighting system, simply press and hold the power button for about a second or two. For daylight visibility, if you don't tap the power button to turn on your night lighting system, you're able to access the left and right blinkers using the wireless remote left and right indicators. Simply press and hold the power button to turn the system off. Remember, we recommend using your headlight and your taillights for all visibility conditions. The headlight has walk, low, medium, high, and boost modes. You can access these modes using the toggle switch on the remote control. Push the toggle switch up to go into maximum boost mode. If you press and hold the toggle switch up, in one step, it will go into maximum boost mode for when you need it most. You can also incrementally press the toggle switch to cycle through the headlights modes. You can press up to go up in modes and you can press down to go down in modes. When accessing the flash modes, Remember, we can press and hold that power button. Once you're in the flash modes, you're able to cycle through the flash modes by pressing the toggle switch up or down. If you press and hold the toggle switch up, it will simply cycle through the modes. Press and hold the power button to turn the lighting system off. So that's how you pair. Now we're going to show you how to factory reset all of the electronics in your Nightlink wireless lighting system. Let's start with the headlight. To factory reset the headlight, you're going to press and hold the button on the headlight for approximately 15 seconds. you will see the light have a red indicator light. Keep pressing and holding until you see the top left indicator on the fuel gauge blink yellow. Now the headlight is factory reset. If you press and hold the headlight and turn it on, you'll notice the taillights no longer turn on. So the item is now factory reset. We can factory reset the Omega 330 Evo by pressing and holding the power button for about 15 seconds. After about 15 seconds, you'll notice the item is factory reset. It does have a red-blue indicator that displays on the light when that happens. Let's factory reset the other Omega 330 Evo. Again, we can factory reset the light by pressing and holding the light power button for approximately 15 seconds. The 
that light is now factory reset. Last item we have is our wireless remote control. Factory reset the wireless remote control by pressing and holding the power button for approximately 15 seconds until you see the power button illuminate in red. Once you see the power button blinking red, it is now factory reset. That's how you pair, use, and factory reset your Nightlink wireless lighting system. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. Or you can contact customer service. I'm Daniel, we're Knight Rider. Thank you very much for hanging out.